So then my last question then, you mentioned two-factor um, authentication, and I've seen that pop up a lot recently, especially with the conversation of working at home. Would you recommend um, looking for those software tools that require two-factor authentication versus the ones that don't? Absolutely. And, and Eric, I'll let you speak to that as well. Jeff talked about it a little bit earlier already, just that if, if there is software on your machine, you know, if you are having to have people work from their home computers, um, if you're logging into stuff, if, if they have a password tracker on there, a keystroke logger that's, that's watching those characters get typed in, that MFA code is what's going to save you. So the hacker can have your username and password, but they don't have your cell phone that has those MFA codes, then, then they can't do any damage to your business. So it's night and day. Microsoft has some numbers out there, um, and and it's it's pointless to try and attack a company with MFA, pretty much. And so, there anyone that's getting attacked on the Office 365 side uh, that's fallen victim. It's all been because MFA hasn't been enabled. So that's that's why we're really passionate about it. Mm -hmm.